I'm Oriana Leo with the Red Carpet Report at the 42nd Annual Daytime Emmy Awards. You look stunning, first of all. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Now, what do you attribute the success of your show to? You know, they've said the soap is dead, and it clearly isn't. Oh, it's definitely not. I think there's going to be a major resurgence of ratings. We've already seen that happen. Um, I think we're going to give the 80s and 90s ratings a run for their money. I really do. Um, I would attribute it to two things. I would attribute it to the fans. They're very loyal, and as everyone knows, soap fans will endure any storyline, even if they don't like it. You know, they'll be like, I'm not going to watch, but then they still know what's going on. So they're the best, you know, and they're very loyal across any soap medium. You're always going to have the fans, and that's what's going to keep you alive. But also, you know, the writers create characters that are relatable. You know, even if somebody is evil, they have a little bit of good in them. You can empathize with them. If they're goody two-shoes, you get to see them cry. You know what I mean? There's a balancing act, and so I think that they they just create characters that are uh, rooted in reality, that, you know, that people want to watch. How did you get your start? How did you get your big break? Um, oh my gosh, I don't, I mean, I don't fully know because I've had a lot of lucky breaks in different areas. What about for daytime and soaps? For daytime, I was an emergency recast for the lovely Kirsten Storms on General Hospital and um, did not know I was going in for that role. Uh, booked it, then they told me what I was doing, and then I started 12 hours later with 40 pages uh, doing emergency fittings. Uh, and how did you handle that? I, I was freaking out. I remember being in her dressing room and thinking, I can't do this. You know, maybe one of the other girls at the callback would want to do this. Right. And I was going to go upstairs and be like, I can't do this. I'm about to pass out. And I Googled, and it was already all over the internet that I was taking over for her. And I was like, well, I'm stuck. So I decided I would just, you know, fake it till I make it and just go up and act like I knew what I was doing. And then they called Gut, and they got through it. And all the other actors were like, so what other soap have you been on? I was like, no, yeah, no, I'm going to pass out now. <laughs> you know, so that's how I got started. It was trial by fire. I was just going to say, well, congratulations yeah. on that. No, I mean, that's a real accomplishment. Um, what advice would you give your younger self at that time? I, you know, I don't know that I would give my former self, uh, my younger self, any advice. I think I've always been like 85 on the inside and always been like that mature person. So, I mean, I would just say keep on keeping on, Jen Lily. <laughs> what are you most looking forward to tonight? Uh, getting in the air conditioning. <laughs> no, um, I'm really excited for all of the nominees. Jace has a lot of nominations tonight. And I'm also excited to see my friends from the other soaps because it's a really tight-knit community, and I think we all support each other. So I'm just happy to be here. I think it's the coolest thing that we're doing this at Warner Brothers with this very huge carpet, you know, the fans and the stands behind us. I'm never going to forget this night. So that's really cool for me. Congratulations on all your success, and have fun tonight.